Hello everybody and hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Now today we're going to be talking about some Black Ops 5 and not really that good of news. It could be if you interpret it in the right way, but for me personally this is not very positive news for this title. Now if you follow people like Dick Zerto or Charlie Intel over on Twitter, you would have saw that the Zombies director Jason Blundell is leaving Treyarch ahead of their Call of Duty 2020 release. Now, me personally, I haven't really been that big of a Zombies fan in a long time. Like I said, I was mostly into Zombies and Call of Duty World at War. Like, those Zombies were... That's when I was in my prime of Zombies, and I loved that. After that, Black Ops 1 was decent. Black Ops 2 came along, I started falling off. Black Ops 3, so on and so forth. I just started getting out of the whole Zombies cycle. So, in the comments section, I see a lot of different opinions about Jason. A lot of people say that Call of Duty 2020 is better off without Jason. And a lot of people say that this game is doomed with Jason leaving Treyarch Studios. Personally, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't play that much zombies to know if this guy really actually makes that big of a difference towards the zombie scene or the storyline or anything like that. But if you are a big zombies fan, make sure you go ahead into the comments section and let me know your personal opinion. Let me know what you think about the, uh, the director, Jason, leaving Treyarch Studios and if you think it's a good or bad thing. But me personally, I think this is all bad news. It's already bad enough that Treyarch is coming into Call of Duty 2020 late, and they weren't prepared for this, they weren't ready to start developing games yet, and they have to pick up Sledgehammer's work now. And on top of that, they're losing their head director of Zombies. Now, I see this one of two ways, a positive way and a negative way. The positive way is that Call of Duty 2020 is going to be Sledgehammer's vision. And they're not going to make a Black Ops 5. Treyarch isn't going to take the complete title. And this isn't going to be that big of a deal. They're just going to keep Sledgehammer's vision and just complete the game. And if that's the case, zombies don't need to be directed by Jason at all. They don't need to have some solid storyline. This is a Sledgehammer's game. You guys remember in Call of Duty World War II zombies. It wasn't outstanding, but it was still fun. It was just a typical zombies experience. So they don't need anything too insane if they're going to stick with the uh, Sledgehammer path. But the bad side of things, obviously, is if Treyarch is completely taking over this game. They are completely changing the title. They're starting from scratch. And they're making their own video game with a very short time. And now their zombies director leaves them. And I, I guess that's not that big of a deal. As you guys know, I'm a multiplayer guy. But zombies is a big portion of every Black Ops game. Let's be honest here. Whether it's Call of Duty World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. It doesn't matter what type of player you are. It doesn't matter if you enjoy zombies. It doesn't matter if you hate zombies. Zombies is a big portion of the game. It's one massive game mode out of the three game modes that comes shipped with the title. And some people designate their whole year off of that. They don't even touch multiplayer. And there's some out there who designate their whole YouTube channels or their whole Twitch channels specifically to zombies. So this is going to be a rough year, I think, for a lot of these players. The players who do enjoy the zombie scene. The players who do enjoy streaming it or making videos about it. This might be rough. But obviously, at the end of the day, I don't think zombies is going to make or break the deciding factor for a lot of players. I think campaign and multiplayer are probably the heaviest two factors of every Call of Duty game. And because Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign, that to substitute that out with Blackout, which was a good substitution as well. People enjoy Battle Royale, so it was a good idea, even though I would have preferred a campaign. But you know, it's all up to them. But deep down, I think a lot of players purchase Call of Duty games, not just for zombies. I think zombies is kind of a, a side thing for a lot of people, like me. You know, if you want to casually hop on and play something relaxing and not have to stress about how sweaty the community is, you can hop on Zombies and have a good time. So with the head director of Zombies leaving, I don't really think this is going to drastically affect things too badly when it comes down to the actual gameplay of this game. Because yes, Zombies is important, but I think as long as the Zombies is just replayable and it's casual and players can still go in and enjoy it and they still have the usual Easter eggs and things that the hardcore Zombies players can do, I think people are still going to enjoy it. That's not too big of an issue. But my main problem now is if these directors are leaving Treyarch Studios, does this mean other directors are going to leave as well? Like head directors who are working on the multiplayer team or directors that are working on the campaign of this video game? Is this going to just turn into a complete utter mess? Because let's be honest here, these people are probably under intense pressure right now. 
I mean, they went from having a year off or how, however they handle their cycle to having a break from making video games to being rushed straight into another title. No, no break, no time to think about what their next game is. And even if they did or were thinking of what their next game was going to be, let's be honest here. Now they can't use that idea. That idea is going to be completely scrapped because now Activision said, forget your idea. Forget what you were planning. You now have to take over Sledgehammer's video game. So everything that they were working on, everything that they were planning, everything that they wanted to do just got completely tossed out. And now they have to worry about finishing another video game by another development studio. So maybe these developers are being stressed. Maybe they're tired. Maybe they just don't want to do this anymore. And they're probably going to move on to another project. I can't blame Call of Duty devs for wanting to leave. I mean, this is a very stressful game, and I've been saying this a lot lately, but maybe they should release games a little bit later, give these devs maybe another year to produce them. Yes, they do have, like, what? I think they have three, four years to make a video game. Maybe three now because it's only two cycles, so what, like two, three years they have to make a game? But like I always say, clearly, it's not enough. Clearly, these devs need more time. Look at Modern Warfare as a perfect example. It's a very solid game, has awesome movement, has awesome gunplay, but the maps are booty cheeks, the bugs are never ending, there's constant issues, the servers we're playing on are trash, the hit detection is awful. It's a game that would have been good, but was rushed out the doors way too early. Something that should have had more time, and the devs should have been you know, able to work on it just a little bit longer than what they initially did. So maybe these developers are just getting tired of this constant cycle that they have to go through. And now with them being even more under pressure than they usually are, they have to cook up some random magical masterpiece that's going to make Activision happy. And as you guys know, they're going to have to make Activision happy. Activision is a business, they're all about the money, and they're trying to make tons of it. So if Black Ops 5 World ever the next game that's coming out in Call of Duty 2020 isn't going to be good... Treyarch is going to be hearing a lot of crap, and they're probably never going to hear the end of it from Activision. And if I personally were to put myself into their shoes, and I were to experience what they're experiencing, I would probably quit as well. That's probably the worst working environment in the universe. Imagine you're working on a video game that you have plenty of time to do. You know, you, you're sitting there, you spend years, years developing a concept around a video game. And you go to plenty of places to observe where these places are, what they look like. You have plenty of time developing the game, the weapons, the maps. And then out of nowhere, your boss says, Hey, um, one of our other development studios is messing around and they just can't get their crap together. So drop everything that you're doing. All the years of work that you've been, you know, putting into whatever game you're developing. Quit it and come and finish their game. You know... I, and not just that, not just that, not just quit it and come finish their game, but quit it and come finish their game with an insanely short time period until it's about to release. So these de- I would quit. I would, I, I'm just going to say it now. I would quit. That's too much stress. That's too much pressure. And these game developers already have enough crunch time and, you know, overtime that they're putting into these titles, especially when they're, you know, getting close to the release date. I just, I wouldn't want to deal with all that nonsense. It's just too much. And this one developer, even though it is just a zombies developer, you know, it's not like anybody that's really going to drastically change the course of this video game. But even though it's the zombies developer, maybe this is a sign that if one goes, the rest are going to follow. You never know. This is recent news. Maybe in a week from now, we'll hear a multiplayer developer leaving. Another week, we'll hear someone who's working on a campaign leaving. You never know what's going on. But this is rough news for Black Ops 20 or Black Ops 5 year 2020. Because, like I said, I don't want to be negative about this stuff. I've been trying to be very positive lately. But Jesus Christ, guys, the head developer of the Zombie series just left. I mean, he just straight got up and left in the middle of their game cycle. It's not even like they, he waited until the game was released. It's not like he waited until it was first announced. No, he in the middle of the cycle, in the middle of development, he got up and ditched it. It's done and over with. So I'm, I'm sorry for the Zombies fans. But you might have a very rough year in 2020. It might be a struggle for a lot of you guys. And I hope this doesn't spread across to the rest of the game. I hope this horrible cycle doesn't spread over to multiplayer. And it doesn't spread over to camp campaign. And whatever other game modes they have planned for this title. But all I have to say is that Treyarch or anybody, even Activision, they need to start getting some information out about Call of Duty 2020. We need something positive. Because everything that we're hearing about this game 
has been negative. We haven't heard anything positive about it, which is very bad for the sales of this title. You can't just let tons of negative stuff come out about this game and expect it to sell well. You need to combat it with something, and maybe it's just not time for them to advertise about the next Call of Duty game. Maybe they're trying to let Modern Warfare still have a little, you know, more sunlight because they know the second, the second they speak about Black Ops 5, Modern Warfare is toast. All of YouTube will be talking about it, Twitch will be talking about it, Twitter will be talking about it. Modern Warfare will be pretty much put into the closet, and we'll probably never see it again until the Black Ops 5 hype dies down. But overall, they need to release something good for this game. They need to release something positive, some good news. So we can be... Uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? Just, I, I want to feel safe about this game. You know, I want to feel like this game is going to turn out good. And right now, it doesn't look like it's going to turn out good. It looks like they're stressed. It looks like they're under pressure. And it looks like they don't have enough time to finish it. Which is not good whatsoever. They need time to finish this game. And even if they need to push it back a little bit, they should let us know. They should just let us know, yo, Treyarch, they can't do this. Don't don't force them, Activision. Don't make them do it if they can't do it. Don't make them release a bad game because they didn't have enough time to perfect it. You know, if you can't do it, just release a remastered game. I promise you, everybody in the community would probably be happy if you were mastered World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, any of the Black Ops games or World at War, people would be happy with. So if you can't finish this new title, give them a little bit more time and just release something different so these developers can actually finish and feel confident about what they're releasing to the public. But guys, I really hope you did enjoy this commentary. Don't forget, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. If you hate it, go as dislike it. If you're brand new and you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you just want to chat with me or see what I'm talking about with video games, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Jibona Man. And also, if you just want to catch me live streaming, I do that over on Twitch, at Jibona Man. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.